What's up and welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're going to talk about the brand new phone just announced today and I'm super excited about it because it's the latest from OnePlus and I recently had a chance to try out the OnePlus 5T and it kind of blew my mind so the OnePlus 6 is the successor to the 5T. Uh, now I haven't had my hands on it again because it was just like announced. I just had the press event today. It'll be available for pre-order on May 22nd and boy does this phone look absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. So is this the Samsung killer that we've always wanted? The OnePlus 5T was essentially the budget version of a Galaxy S8. It had an OLED panel, some really high-end specs, especially for the money, and it was priced at $499. Now the OnePlus 6 has a $30 bump in price, and it has a massive upgrade to the specs. We're talking processor, GPU, camera, display. There's a lot of things being upgraded on the OnePlus 6, and I'm really excited about it. So what's different, and why am I so excited about the OnePlus 6? Well, the thing I'm most excited about is the new Snapdragon 845 processor and Adreno 630 GPU. The these combined together with the Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 6 should make for the snappiest, smoothest performing smartphone on the market. Like snappiest as in you click an app, it opens, and it's usable as fast as possible. I'm really excited about the OnePlus 6 and doing some speed tests with it. I'll have those in the near future. Now some other things that's great about the new Adreno 630 GPU is that gaming is gonna be significantly improved, getting higher frame rates, for example, in PUBG Mobile or Fortnite Mobile, as well as whatever video editing you might wanna do. Both the GPU and the CPU could be leveraged to ramp up those processing speeds. Something else that makes me hopeful is it has a new Bluetooth 5.0. On the OnePlus 5T, I had an audio popping noise that made it incredibly irritating listening to Bluetooth audio through the phone, and that ultimately was the reason why I didn't use the OnePlus as my main device. Hopefully this new 5.0 Bluetooth module fixes that issue, as that was a pretty common issue that users were experiencing. If you ever check the forums, there's, there's like a bunch of posts about it. Now the new 6.3 inch OLED panel has a notch in it. Now the notch is fairly small. Hopefully it's less intrusive than for example, the iPhone 10 notch. Now I've been using the Huawei P20 Pro for, as my personal phone for a few days here because I'm preparing to do a more detailed review on that. And I really liked how the Huawei software handles the notch. Basically, when you're in vertical mode, you're looking at Instagram or Facebook, for example, everything will be pushed up. You've got that notification bar that which can basically be raised up another quarter of an inch, and then everything else can just take up more room. When you're in horizontal landscape mode using an app, you end up with these slightly wider black bars on the side, and I like that overall. Now it's gonna have dual cameras on the back, 16 megapixel main RGB camera, along with a 20 megapixel secondary camera for bokeh. We also have a 16 megapixel camera on the front. Now the sensors on these cameras are gonna be upgraded quite a bit, but from my experience from the OnePlus 5T, the camera was good, it was solid, but it was nothing amazing. It certainly was far from great. It felt like a Galaxy S7 or an iPhone 6 in terms of its quality and clarity. You're getting a pretty solid camera for the money, but it's far from the top of the line. Now the base model starts at $529 with six gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. It has a few different pricing options, but you can upgrade it to a max of eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage for another $100. Now I would definitely do that because I use so much space and there's no option for a micro SD card slot here. So you're limited in your total amount of video storage if you take a lot of video like I do. Now it has extremely fast fast charging and a 3300 mAh battery, which is a little bit smaller than what some of the other phones are offering. But since it has a full HD+, Plus, which is a lower resolution panel, it is gonna be able to still have really solid battery life. Changing out the metal back for a glass one is probably my biggest beef with the OnePlus 6. Glass backs are usually put on phones when they add wireless charging, and this phone still doesn't have wireless charging. So it makes it more fragile. I don't like the styling quite as much. I still think it looks good, but it looks basically like every other Android phone on the market now. It still has a headphone jack and a rear fingerprint sensor as well. My initial impression of the OnePlus 6 is that it is going to be the top of the line performance speed testing demon. Aside from the glass back, I think this is a straight upgrade from the OnePlus 5T. It's got better internals, it should have an upgraded camera, and it's only a little bit more money, and I think it definitely warrants the increase in price. If OnePlus can deliver on this phone without any issues, I think the OnePlus 6 will be my go-to phone to recommend to people who are looking for a great phone with great specs 
on a budget. That's it, if you're looking for the best in class camera, this is definitely not the phone for you. Other than that, two thumbs up, I think. I will let you know when I do my full review and break down when I get my hands on them in the near future. Don't forget to enter whatever giveaway I'm doing. I'll have that giveaway link in the top description down below. I'm currently giving away an iPhone 8 Red Edition. And if you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. I'll be comparing the OnePlus 6 to the other top smartphones currently on the market here in the near future. So if you don't wanna miss out on those, again, tap that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Brandon, out.